There have been so many companies, revolutionizing the tech industry. But Apple has remained at the forefront of innovation. From starting back in 1976, they introduced the first Apple computer, which gave the power to the humans, to move from difficult machine language, to simple graphical user interface. Back in 2007, they took the mobile phone industry, by a surprise, bringing the touch smartphone to the market. In the next several years, they introduced so many great products, such as iPad, Apple earphones. After they perfected their iPhone, they introduced the wireless AirPods. On the base of some leaks, Apple is entering the smart glasses race, with their AR provision Apple glasses. According to the leaks, from John Prosser, Apple will call the smart glasses the Apple Glass. That name would seem to be an unusual choice, given the similarity to the name, of Google Glass, a product that existed long, before Apple's work on AR glasses came to light. The glasses are said, to look similar to regular glasses, with both lenses, to feature displays, that can be interacted, with using gestures. According to the rumors, glasses will be available, at a price of $499, which seems to be quite cheap, as compared to expensive Google glasses. Well-respected Apple analyst, Ming-Chi Kuo, expects the AR glasses, to be marketed as an, iPhone accessory. Bloomberg has said, the Apple glasses will run, ROS or Reality Operating System. ROS is said to be based on iOS, the operating system that runs on the iPhone. Leaker John Prosser, believes Apple will unveil, its AR glasses in March, or June, of 2021, which could mean, the glasses will be shown off, in 2021, and then released later, in 2022. These Apple glasses will be quite different, from Google glasses, on the fact that these will not feature, a camera, inside the glasses, which was probably the main reason, for the failure of Google glasses. The camera inside the glasses, gave the person in front the assumption, that someone is recording video, which made it difficult, for the Google glasses to succeed. Apple glasses will feature LiDAR technology, short for light detection, and ranging, is a remote sensing technology, that uses light, in the form of a pulsed laser, to measure ranges, or distances, to a target. A LiDAR sensor fires off beams, of laser light, and then measures, how long it takes for the light, to return to the sensor. Same technology is used in self-driving cars. It is similar to radar, and sonar, that use radio, and sound waves, respectively. However, it improves greatly on those traditional technologies, in terms of precision, of sensing. While radar, can plot the location of a vehicle, from miles away, on the other hand, the laser precision, of LiDAR, can visually map individual features, of a vehicle, or an environment, in what is known as, a point cloud. In an iPad Pro, that depth sensing, will be put in the service, of augmented reality. But it's not really about the iPad Pro. Apple put a LiDAR scanner, in a tablet to prepare, almost certainly, for when it puts one, in a pair of AR glasses. Speculation is cheap. But at this point Apple's AR ambitions, are hardly speculative, a brisk stroll through the innards, of the company's iOS 13.1, and Xcode 11, last fall, referenced a set of smart glasses. Rather than having to reference narrow slices, of a virtual world, through a smartphone screen, a LiDAR scanner, will enable experiences that truly envelop you. Apple's LiDAR component, also doesn't take up much space. iPad Pro was a headset head start, for both the supply chain, that provides the component, and the developers, who need time to figure out, what to do with it. Whatever form Apple's AR takes, is unclear, but when it does come, you can expect, LiDAR to play a critical role. The iPad Pro is at stress rehearsal. Let's wait, and watch, what Apple has in store for us, in future. <laughs>